Hey everybody, welcome back to some more early morning barking, talking about BPD and MPD by somebody that has both. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and do all the socially things scrolling past you on the screen right now. Thank you to everybody who's uh, supporting me on Patreon and check out my podcast in the description below. There's one on Patreon and there's one that's just a general podcasty thing. So a, a little while ago, I got given a recovery plan. And a recovery plan is basically a load of questions that I have to fill in. And I've been putting it off for a number of months because they're difficult questions. And I thought I'd share one with you because I'm having a great deal of trouble with it. And I thought you might be interested to sort of ponder this one yourself. It seems like a really simple question. It seems really easy. What does recovery look like? I don't know. I, what what does recovery look like? I, I know what recovering looks like, right? It's painful and difficult. You go through stages of, of guilt and shame and other negative emotions that you have to deal with when, I mean, particularly in the case of MPD, when you start to realize all the harm that you've caused and all the pain that you've caused, and you have to deal with the guilt and shame of that. The BPD stuff's slightly easier to deal with because it has less guilt and shame attached to it, but there's still some hard truths you have to face. It's difficult. And I'm doing that bit what what does recovery look like? What does done? Is that even a thing? Is there better? Is there healed? And I, I don't know. Some elements, actually, yes. I, I think there are. Some of the reactionary elements, some of the, the behaviors, like the rage and the anger and lashing out and projection, that kind of stuff. But it takes time obviously. But I, I, I think recovery includes those things going away. Those those bad behaviors, the bad reactions. I, I think I can live without those. And as I get better, as I move towards this light at the end of the tunnel that is recovery, those things are getting better. My reactions to things are getting better. And so I see those going away. Recovery has to include those going away, right? But there are other things that I don't control. The internal stuff, the thoughts and feelings that I'm dealing with. And those are things like with the BPD, the emotional instability, uh, favorite personing people, all that stuff. And that's internal. I don't choose it. It's not a reaction. It's a feeling. I'm kind of wrong, actually, now I've said that. Some of those things are a reaction. And maybe I can learn my way out of them. Like things related to a fear of abandonment. And, and like the favorite person stuff as well. Like they are reactions to feelings, to experiences I've had in my life, to things I've worried about. And those feelings that come up now are, are technically reactions to those things. Maybe I can deal with those things and those reactions won't come up as much, but I don't know. Can I include that? I can want to include that, right? That seems fair. I, I I can want to include that. So I'm I'm gonna try and include it. But there are other internal things that aren't reactions. Emotional instability. That kind of thing. They aren't reactions. I, I can't decide to be more stable. I can learn to live with it. I can learn to deal with it. I can learn 
steps to take, self-care things, all that kind of stuff. What happens when I feel emotionally unstable? What can I do about it? But it's never going to go away. That's at least what it feels like now. So maybe recovery includes for me just at least learning how to deal with that. By the way, if I can make any of these things go away, that's that's a good thing. I would do that. I would choose to do that as opposed to not. But I don't know which ones can. But the more I talk about it now, the more I analyze it, I start to think, well, everything comes from somewhere, right? Just like those, that fear of abandonment is a reaction to emotionally scarring events of my life, whatever. It's a reaction to that. And just like everything else, maybe if I can dig deeply enough, maybe if I can, if I can look at the things that caused that feeling in the first place and deal with those, maybe that fear of abandonment will go away. Maybe if I deal with all the things, that emotional instability is one of the last ones to go, but maybe it, maybe it can go. Maybe if all the things in my life that are making me feel uneasy, if I can deal with those, maybe it can go. I kind of feel optimistic about that. But that's, that's just BP st BPD stuff. What about the NPD stuff that Again, some of that is going. The rage, the endless arguments, all, all of that bullshit. But again, there are still things that are internal to me. And, I mean, for example, the, the sort of grand dreaming thing, right? I have this YouTube channel. It's going all right, but I, I want the biggest YouTube channel. I want to be huge. I'm not just content with doing okay at anything. And of course, that's where it becomes a problem, right? I mean, we all have determination and, and goals and dreams and hopes and all of that sort of thing. That That is good. That's a positive outlook on life. But it's it's when that needing to be huge encompasses everything. And it's all the time about everything. And you can't let anything go. And that's internal to me. But again, the more I talk about it, where, where does that come from? Where does that need come from? Because it's coming from somewhere. It's another reaction, isn't it? Oh my God, maybe there are no internal things. Maybe they're all reactions. You see why this is good to talk about it. I think I'm coming to... This is... This was supposed to be quite a pondering episode, but I, I think I'm, it's turning into one of those realization episodes. Maybe it's possible to actually fix all of this, right? Maybe if it's all re if there's nothing internal, then it's all reactions and reactions can be fixed and relearned. I know that because I've done that. So maybe recovery actually looks like total recovery. Maybe that's years away. Maybe that's that's so much practice and relearning and, and all kinds of things. But that feels doable suddenly. That feels like a thing that is achievable, even over a long period of time. And God, how quick a fix was I expecting anyway? I've been like this most of my life. So was it going to go away in a couple of years? <sighs> Who knows? I definitely feel like I'm moving in the right direction, though. And it, there's a sort of renewed sense of optimism with this. Yeah, you can get better. And yeah, recovery can look like all these problems going away. Oh, that's going to be a big task to write that down in a little box. But hey, that's what forms are for, eh? And it's been good to talk to you lot about it. So thank you for that. I hope that's been of some help. I know some of you like it when I come to conclusions on videos. So 
There you go. There is one heck of a conclusion. Everything can get better. Yeah, that's good. I like that. You take care. I'll see you later. Bye.